Hello guys, it's your boy Bardo Plays, and yeah, today we got a video where the topic is how to max your characters in OPBR. Um, I'm posting this video because I really want to help the new players. Really, right now we have an anniversary, so it's logical that we have many new players. I have many new players in my comments that asked a lot of stuff. I'm gonna try to do more like like videos for new players where they can know what what is and yeah i guess because many people now got like new units from this anniversary and all they say no 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 want to know hey how do i max this man's so to level 100 and yeah i will tell you this in this video uh, before you go to the video of course boys uh, leave a sub and a like and comment what's your favorite Burger. Okay, let's start with scouts. Oh, okay, scouts. Um, how uh, scouts really important if you want to get at least a character. You want to try to get characters that are like on the banner, like let's say Tesoro, Shiki or shit. It's of course cool if you get dupes of other things, which will also help you exponentially get your characters maxed. And yeah, you, that's how it works. You summon and get the character multiple times so you can get him really fast to level 100. Uh, if you, Let's say, okay, you get the character, you unlock him, level 60. You get him again, level 70, 80, 85, and so on. I hope you understood. Like, it's 200 frags per, per dupe, if you understand. And yeah, personally, I would recommend you to go for the EX banners because the rates are shit and you most probably won't get a dupe of an EX. I'm gonna be honest with you. you we don't have the capacity for that big man. Okay? So I wouldn't recommend do it, but if you want a really strong unit, of course, if you get an EX, it's awesome for you. And yeah, now we also have other banners that are a little bit more worth it, like bounty festivals and shit. And yeah, Bounty Festivals, it's written right here. It's a Bounty Festival. They are pretty strong units and you can get them for less gems guaranteed. You have higher rates and better rates, to be honest, uh, to get them like maxed. I, I got this man's like two times in one rotation. So I would say it's pretty cool. Same thing goes for Shiki. I got him like three times in one rotation so yeah um if you want to get like no, not even one rotation it's like three sounds golly uh yeah uh boys if you want to have uh, have like character dupes you can get them from here here you can get them the most theoretically the most fastest way to level 100 if you want to say it like that uh, on you should you summon right now and no, for like new players, it's not an option to just wait and not spend your gems because you want to play the game. So I would say summon combination first Tesoro, a blue attacker, and then on a blue runner being Bo Hancock. And yeah, you have now a cool blue u u unit duo that you can build on, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Of course, you can theoretically wait or sum for this, but... I know for a new player it's not really a viable option, but let's say you get both of those units, like let's say to level 70 or at least one, you can then theoretically just build on one of them and wait till the next EX comes and then summon him. I guess it would be pretty cool for you. Now let's get to another thing to help you max your characters. Fab Five Freddy told me everybody's fly. DJ spinning, I said my, my. The next thing is special training. Special training, you get like per day four fragments for your units. Uh, as a new to free to play player, you only have two slots. I had blessings from the Lord because of that I have three slots. And yeah, it will of course help you always to just uh, go into the game and claim those fragments and let them run. Uh, of course, only put units that you want to get 80 or max on this treadmill because everything else would be pretty fucking useless. And also, what are cheers for new players? Cheers you get from your aliens. I'll go there. It's going to give you one free fragment per day, like an extra one. 
you do it here, tip on it, and then you give a cheer. All your um, aliens members need to do it, and then you get per 10 cheers, you can get one extra fragment on everything, which is pretty cool for you. Flash is fast, flash is cool. Now, let's get to the next thing the exchange shop. Um, another really interesting thing is uh, if you want to like uh, spend a little bit of money, three euros or dollars, depends on where you live. It costs this thing. You will get. You can buy everyday bounty festival fragments, five of them, which is pretty cool for a new player and and, and generally for everybody. It's a very good if you if you want to like max a, f a few units. I would only buy this pass if you want to max a specific unit. Every every time else, it's pretty fucking useless for you. I'm gonna be honest. Then, uh, of course, you have the normal battle points for step-ups, which you can get very easily to level 100 or boost 3, in my opinion. You can buy every day 10 fragments, and there are many ways for step-ups to get the max. Uh, oh, and I wanted to give you another message from me. Right now, we have many movie units, like limited bounty festival, even more limited than normal bounty festivals. The thing with them is, which is pretty shit, is you can't buy them in the spell point sh exchange shop, even though you bought the pass. So, yeah, every other bounty festival you can do, but if they are from a movie, you can't buy them. I'm sorry for you boys, like, yeah. And now, next thing that is very important for you. <laughs> Is of course to play the fucking game so you get battle points to buy shit and even more. I'll show you. Uh, right now, SS League, of course, we have this. If you play the game, you will have many cool things for your unit. One thing are those daily treasure chests. If you reach a certain amount of score points, you can get one time per daily, like those chests where you can get some cool re little rewards, some fragments for units. You can't really decide which fragments, but it's all right. You will get good amount and will stack up. Then you have chance cards, which will help you very much if you want to like get a specific unit max really fast. It's really cool. Here you can do it with movie units as well. Like I I can't really like okay, I no, okay, yeah. I can do it on movie units as you can see in a second. Yeah, here, one, two, three. But right now I'm going into the Marco meta. Where is my Marco boy? So, yeah. we And here you can only do step ups. Those chance cards are really good. But you can only get them if you have like those treasure chances. And you will get a ton of other rewards through those cards. And only if you win, of course. Like, th those cards are pretty cool. And last thing, play the game, you will get at a certain point a good amount of league rewards. At SS League you get 50, 50 fragments and they will help you a ton if you want to max your characters. So yeah, fragments, you can just put them on your unit and et voila, you got them. And you get a little bit of gems which are pretty fucking useless and chance cards which are pretty cool. And not next thing, play the game, you will also have challenge battles. Where you can get a few fragments if you grind it through and 15 gems. Which is very nice for you. It's a little bit of fun sometimes, sometimes it's not fun. It's You, you just push through my soldier. Uh, of course, where you can get uh, exchange fragments, you can exchange them here. Um, you can put them on a unit. Let's say I'm going to put them on Marco for you boys. Now we got... Some Marco fragments on this man's. I'm not 27 fragments. Um, like closer to get him max. Uh, yeah. Now let's get to another thing. Play the game. This category. If you play the game, you will also accomplish missions, which will give you gems. You will have also events where you can get fragments and gems, like boss battle. I already accomplished it, so you can't see it, but you know what I mean. And then, yeah, yeah, okay. And we have, of course, the normal things where you can get gems and sometimes fragments. And you have the weekly missions, which will give you the chance cards after you accomplish a certain amount of missions. And those missions will also help you max your character. So 
I guess it's pretty cool for you if you just grind a little bit. Like, it plays a game. As I said, you need... <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm sorry. Subway Surfers. Um, yeah, if you want to... If you play the game, you will get your units faster maxed. And yeah, last thing that I wanted to say. Solo missions. You can get here a ton of rainbow diamonds as a new player. And then like normal mode, hard mode. If, if you wonder how to get those medallions, go on this treasure chest and always do everything here so you can get your three gems. And yeah, I do think this is all that I can say to how to max your character. It's a most of the time it's a pretty hard and long process, like my dick. But um, yeah, I, I guess it's really all you can say about how to max your character. I hope it helped you. I hope you had fun watching this vid. And yeah, subscribe, like, and yeah, guys, goodbye.